So as you guys know, with Discord, we rely heavily on bots in order to do our auto moderation, basically to look for words that we don't want used in our server or to you know try to basically filter out stuff that's not going to be conducive for the type of community we're building. Well, Discord has decided to go ahead and add their own auto mod feature to Discord directly so that you don't even have to use a bot in order to moderate all of your channels in your server. So in this video, we're going to take an early look at the beta test version of this feature and show you guys kind of what they're playing around with that you can be expecting for the future that will be coming to Discord. Now before we jump in and take a look at this brand new feature, I do want to say a massive shout out to the sponsor of this video, Owned Pro. Owned Pro is a revolutionary streaming tool with everything you need to run your streams as well as access to all the Owned Stream graphics packages. Yes, that's right, over 600 professionally made stream packages that can be loaded directly into OBS through their OBS plugin, making your entire stream setup take only a few minutes. Own Pro has also teamed up with Epidemic Sounds to include copyright free music and sound effects you can use on your stream worry free. So check out the link in the description of this video and use code Eagle Garrett at checkout to get 50% off a pro plan today. Massive thank you to Own Pro for sponsoring this video. Make sure you check out the link in the description and don't forget to use code Eagle Garrett to save that 50% off. So let's go ahead and dive in and take a look at this brand new base a test of the auto mod feature in Discord. And here we are in the Flock Discord server. This is our Discord server. If you would like to join discord.gg slash flock, we would love to have you in with us. And we're going to go ahead and go over here and right click on our server icon. And when we do, we're going to go down to server settings and you'll know that there's a content moderation feature that we now have access to and it's in beta. So what you're seeing, we're going to go and click on that. What you're seeing right here is the early beta that we're testing for this new feature. But when this feature does hit Discord, it's going to be a massive help to server owners because instead of having to find the right bot that does all the things you need it to do when it comes to basic moderation of you know looking for different things this is going to be probably the way to go one thing i want to make sure i mention about this content moderation tool in discord is that at the recording of this video if you're watching this video when i post it uh, it's still in the early testing phases it's in beta testing right now so it's only in about two percent of discord servers as a whole so if you don't see this feature in your discord server don't worry it should be coming as soon as they get everything tested and worked out and get all the features lined out But this is an early look at what you can expect when it does actually launch anyway with that being said Let's jump back into discord now if you click on this right here You'll see that there's a commonly flagged words Section and we've got that turned on and if we click on it It's gonna drop down and give us a couple of features and these new features that they're playing around with basically operate like this they have some built-in pre um, pre-chosen parameters that their auto mod feature looks for in order to basically look for insults and slurs, uh, sexual content and severe profanity. So if you check mark these boxes, this is going to be Discord's version of looking for these things automatically. So this is not going to be a lot of customization here, but uh, it's going to look through and filter out some of this stuff. If it's something that basically falls within one of these categories, then Discord is going to flag that and there's a couple of responses that it can choose. So for instance, if somebody puts in severe profanity, then it's going to block the message and you can also choose to have it send an alert to a specific channel within your discord so in our case we have it sent to our mod logs and myself and all of our discord moderators have access to see what things uh, the auto feature the auto mod feature is blocking within our server now, what's really cool about this is that Discord will go ahead and block the message and prevent the message containing uh, these words from being posted. So if there's insults and slurs, right, it's going to block the message and not allow, allow it to be posted. But then it's going to send an alert to your whatever channel you chose our mod logs, for instance, and it's gonna tell us what it blocked, right? And this will allow us to figure out and more fine tune what we want our server to uh, to moderate or how we want it to moderate. Now, the very cool thing about this is that once you set this up, it's pretty much click, 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 and save, right? You're pretty much good to go there. It's very, very easy. But you can also go in here and determine if there's any roles that you wanna be excluded out of this moderation feature. So if you want to have certain roles have the ability to say, you know, uh, use profanity or something, <laughs> then you can put those down here um, and they will be excluded from the moderation feature. The other thing is you don't have to worry about if you're an admin or you have somebody with, uh, you know, managed server permissions, they will automatically be excluded from this. And it looks like we had something pop up. We've got party mode on 
right now because Discord is celebrating seven years. So happy birthday, Discord, by the way. Okay, so once you have this set up, you're pretty much good to go. This is this is the auto mod feature in a nutshell. Very simple. But let's say that there's a certain word or uh, a few different words that aren't considered severe profanity, but you don't want them in your Discord server. How do you add that without having to use a bot? Well, Discord has actually added, once we save our changes here, uh, a keyword filter that you can create. So if you click on this, it'll allow you to come in here and choose words that uh, might not be considered severe profanity, but you don't want in your server. So you can go in here and we can put the word like, um, let's put the word testing in here. Now, if we put the word testing in here uh, and we put a comma, we can either type another word or an entire list of words we want, or we can just keep that word as a word that is blocked. Now, what's going to happen is Discord, anytime that word is typed out, it is going to block that word uh, or that message that has that word in it. And send a message over to your mod log channel or, or wherever you have it sent, right? Uh, the other thing you can do is you can actually um, put a little asterisk either before or after the word. And uh, if you do that, it's going to scan for partial matches, which means let's say somebody tries to put a bad word in the middle of a bunch of characters or they try to like blend it with other words and delete spaces to get by the auto mod feature. If you put this little asterisk, then it's going to look for that specific word anywhere within a post. So if those combination of letters are put together in a post at any point, it's going to still recognize that. So you can go through here, you can put as many words as you want, separate them with a comma, or uh, you can even put new, it says a new line will allow them to be uh, separated that way as well. You can put up to 1,000 characters of words in here. Now, the reality is, is that their feature that they already have up here under commonly flagged words and stuff, this is going to do a pretty good job for all of the, the big things, right? All the, the major obvious ones. But then if you notice that somehow words or certain phrases are getting by this bot, that's when you could go in here and uh, and, and actually add it as a keyword to, to the filter, right? Um, or if, uh, if a word is not, you know, being flagged, if it's not considered severe profanity, like I said, uh, then you could go in here and you could add it to the uh, the keyword filter. So it's a very simple feature. It's a really cool feature though, you guys. And I want to share it with you because Discord is testing this right now, which means that this auto mod feature, as well as potentially, you know, them expanding on this and adding even more options is coming to Discord directly integrated. So I'm super excited about it. This is going to make modding your channel a very, very easy process. And you won't have to rely on bots to do the basic moderation tools. In fact, you can use bots more for the fun stuff and let the discord auto mod catch all of the unfun stuff so there it is you guys i'm super excited about this new feature anytime discord integrates features that we often have to use third-party bots for i'm all for it because it makes it so much easier not only to manage but also when it's integrated it can it can operate the smoothest within the discord uh, and you don't have to worry about you know bots going down or things like that bots do a great job we love discord bots but some of these basic features are really cool to have built in so if you like this video make sure you smack that thumbs up button for me to help get this video out to more people. I would greatly appreciate that. And of course, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell to see when videos like this go live. We're posting Discord content all the time as well as streaming advice and all kinds of cool things. So join the community. We would love to have you. In addition to that, if you want to talk to me directly or come hang out with us, I stream on Twitch at twitch.tv slash Eagle Garrett every week. We're playing games over there and all kinds of fun stuff. So swing on by, hang out with us. And if you got any questions, feel free to ask. I'm always happy to talk about Discord or streaming or any of that sort of thing on stream and last but not least hit me up on social media i'm on twitter the most so follow me there and uh and yeah tweet at me anytime i'll try to answer questions as much as i can on twitter as well but thank you guys so much for watching until the next video as always rock on peace out god bless and last but not least for the 14th month what's this guy doing want to go bro <laughs> that guy thought he could stand outside of our our spawn point and kill us. <laughs>